this is not going to be the English language. To be a Slovene music, not going to be in English language because uh, it's exactly what I stated about the mayor Macedoni, Gregor Macedoni, from Novo Mesto. Uh, under NK Ultra, it was about the house is going to go in possession from the city for a year and a half. Then it changed into a year. And then it changed into six months lease. Not lease that I would get paid or anything like this. Uh, but what used to be initial theory about surveillance equipment that was cemented even inside of this house, in parts of this house, antennas that are transmitting the whole thing into throughout the globe so it was about surveillance equipment uh, changed timely from year and a half to year to six months also into a theory about leasing the house to people elites who would come to the city of the novel master for a business for geopolitical purposes. I don't like to address these people as a top class or something like this because there's nothing classy about stuff like this. Uh, Gregor Macedoni is the mayor of the city of the Novo Mesto. This is what he propagated. This is also what Mother just reminded me. And uh, it was what I was told is going to be right before the case is going to come out as public. In fact, that I'm even going to have to go to the U.S. a little bit to Joe Biden, that I will have to come to Joe Biden is what Joe Biden or whoever used his mask in interpreted to me on behalf of Joe Biden. I was going to show you a price here. Um, this one here is wrong. Okay, this one is correct. This is for what? How much is this here? Well, this is um, this with the cost is 88 cents. I think almost for two kilos. Uh, and this here also, because this is all reduced 50 percent. Uh, this was just. 32 cents for half a kilo of bananas because you see I buy everything including fish with expiration date on a day when is the last day it should be used this is how you deal with a cancer actually on not restricted or restrained budget but completely controlled environment and I paid this with my own cash too uh, this one here, for instance, 30% reduced. These are livers. Very healthy for you. Uh, and again, livers. 30% reduced. And um, then, basically, what you have here, I have the bills. Because I bought myself a season seeds. You see, I had enough of not having anything inside of the fridge. What I was told by Americans, the case is going to be in uh, respect to madness this is called madness you know you're 50 years old and that's called madness that's called madness <sighs> season seeds i bought i bought myself i don't know what kind of uh that's another one anyhow uh what else cinnamon bio cinnamon uh, and a milk without lactosis, what pissed my mother off tremendously. Lanena semena, I don't know how you say this. Uh, and then you have ginger also. Fuck, man. Uh, third of a kilo for one euro. Really on a super, super budget. Um some other spices and yogurts 
for 15 cents each six pieces slovenian garlic and uh, italian garlic they can be seen here just so that i was told really interesting stuff and i paid this with my own money sarcastically soon we're gonna see what you're gonna leave out of it uh there is basically a car you have inside of the garage you paid 500 euros is what my mother reminded me of according to scenario uh which in which my father soon will be gone that's what my mother promised me the case is gonna be and then she's gonna file for home for elderly people soon i'm gonna have nothing to eat from i will be homeless the house will go into possession of the city and according to the mayor just as i stated it's going to be their possession between a year and a half one year six months depends on how much the parties involved in mko if interested would lease one for and all this would go under what my mother removed since yesterday but was for months on a table actually on the window were bills from the father that he pays for um Comunal od Patki. Jeez, been so long since I was in the US, I wouldn't even know. Um, for the trash, you know, water, electricity, that kind of stuff. Utilities, in other words. Uh, and so, that was to remind me till this. A recording came out and this was recorded on July the 13th 2022 the only thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go on with a recording I'm gonna transmit to this recording uh, separately but before I do this I will demonstrate you basically exactly what exactly this looks like this is what you will get uh, what will be recorded you know if i was to pay attention to the stuff like this uh very soon i would be somewhere inside of the jail because with this type of communication with with the way like this you can soon this kind of stuff can soon evolve into something else because this is a life in the madness you know this is a madness destroying somebody citizenship he fought for like i did to get the u.s citizenship is just a bullshit it's just a joke it's just a madness you know and then you go and you fuck him up his own citizenship from the country he is from uh this, this is bullshit this is just a madness you know madness this is just a madness what i mean under the madness today i was very very clear because for the first time in 13 years i feel really 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 satisfied for publishing it it truly truly did fulfill me it fulfilled me tremendously it fulfilled me enormously uh, enormously it fulfilled me I published today this year I waited for this moment of truth in respect of Harry to come since 2013 why I rejected Harry's memoirs assistance and Buckingham Palace as well and it's where I go and I break the whole thing about who these people what these people really are to me what they were to me and what they are to me there is word about caffeine there is word about how much did buckingham palaces hold 
have to do with my medical condition and basically how they wanted me to imp interpret the whole thing is everything is about madness in a part one explained exactly what madness was what exactly was taking place also in the u.s and in other locations throughout the western europe not a good stuff what i see as a madness is and i don't like to repeat myself what i see as a madness is but see this part here one of two and you will understand what was what actually really what in reality madness is so that you understand madness is when they destroy your 28 years of life with the idea that or i should say keep destroying your life on every step of the way with the idea that you will actually take a step against yourself and maybe even commit something like suicide terminate yourself that's what this choking is all about i want to be really specific about it anyhow on a controlled not controlled not 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 controlled not restrained budget uh controlled from the sense of that you have a budget and there is a certain amount of money you can spend no but completely terminated budget with com in completely newly enforced controlled environment where actually what i was told by american psychologist daniel rex smith the mother is eating a very specific food for which she was preparing for a very very long time to withstand when your crisis when your health crisis come this is going to be food that it's going to be more or less healthy in some occasions not even healthy however completely harmless to her because of the food she's prepared to consume while you yourself are going to find yourself in alice wonderland also because of the products she's going to bring home and also because of the products you're not going to have available to basically uh, synchronize adjust yourself to as the normal living, living beings have a choice of food freely to go people that are employed people that receive uh, finances and basically it's going to be all fucked up free trading back and forth so it was expected that once i'm going to go and spend few euros on this goodies which are really not drugs they're not alcohol uh it's not even a coffee or anything like this it's gonna be hell at home and so it was but this is not new this always was like this when i was inside of the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana polia yeah i can boast about it i can be and i am really proud about it not something like this doesn't happen just to anybody uh, there was people inside that claimed me that they received I'm not gonna say I shouldn't say that they received 150 euros per month for the cigarettes uh, I'm not sure that they received that much but I think it actually was a hundred definitely was not less than 50 but if it was hundred uh just for the cigarettes and i think probably was because they complained to me that they take one pack a day and the cost was five euros per pack that's like 150 per month i think they received like a hundred euros per month and they were not happy they bitched about it uh, that's about my budget for the food actually and so that i caused so much fucking evil in this world who the hell would have thought about it but i no longer take to my heart anymore uh after the conversation was over i headed out anyways on a track did my exercise mother complained that i don't help her and stuff like this that's not exactly the truth because it never happened so that i would not do whenever she asked me now i'm busy doing this stuff yes 
Uh, this, however, is under no circumstances ever on a way to my father or mother in absolutely any way, whatever I can do. Uh, or if I feel that is something that I should better do it myself, I do it. Uh, but otherwise, mother is strong, mother is healthy, and she has to thank for all this agility, strength, to the work in the field. She goes out there, she eats healthy food, fruit, vegetables, uh, and she does some stuff to burn calories, and she is eager to cut the grass. She cut the grass like, uh, uh, I think that she's actually thinking how she's burning the calories or something like that because uh, the way she acts, the way the, the postura, the posture, the way, th this is like a, like a grizzly bear mama or something like this. Um, last time I cut the grass on a, on a bank toward the, a river, that's really the stuff that she cannot do it. Uh, she bitched at me if, for some time because it was um, I don't know how you say that that you use manually that already was broken and finally completely broke apart and I was guilty I was again everything except human I was and it's something I anticipated because she did this before already when I cut the grass I would work until 10 o'clock at night and then she appears and started to bitch at me out of nowhere. Appears in the dark, you're doing a job and the only thing you hear is just bitching like full motion at you. Just a little bit psychological abuse. Um, and is really happy if you return back and is really not happy if you ignore through and through. And so... She's a unique character. Um, it's not about the calories only that she burns. It's about the zest for life. And what exactly for her is zest of life? For her, the zest of life is to come and psychologically abuse you, treat you like you're a piece of shit. She's not doing it also only for the calories sake. She will do the job so she can come at you, bitch at you, that you're no fucking good, that you're shit, that you're lazy, that you're dunk. Just about everything except human. And uh, it makes her feel good, it makes her feel strong, and it makes her feel important. It makes her feel manly, somebody who can take initiative and point something that is visually accessible to eyes. That's the stuff, she, that's the way she did with the psych psychiatrists. I fucking do everything. I do this, I do that. He does nothing. He plays on the computer. Gone are the days when the British would come here to humiliate me as well when I would be burning myself inside of this room here with a 30 something degrees heat uh, and boy they were making an idiot of me that I'm not out there doing the stuff gone are the days uh, and so going strong tick 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 let me give you audio recording too bad if you don't understand Slovenian language, but that's exactly what happened, exactly what I explained, mostly about the threat, how father will be dead at any time. In case you have seen this video right here, I have posted one today, and underneath of this I'm going to post link to this video here that's going to explain the situation with the father entirely about what goes on with him how the police is using one 
uh, and the mother the mother insisted me on that MK Ultra is going to be next is going to file for the home for the elderly that's going to leave me at home alone and then they engaged to MK Ultra threatened about how you know sadistically how you're going to be hungry and you're going to be coming home and you there will be a work or whatever is going to be and you're going to be selling the fishing rods yeah the fishing they talked about how the father is going to die oh yeah they talked about how the father is going to die this recordings already exist the day when they took the father to the hospital i have the recording because i identify one lady that actually works i don't know if she still does but she got the job uh cleaning up people uh, dead people people who pass away preparing them for the crematorium and stuff like this uh that was exactly the day before they took the father away and i then i identified her at, here at the schumpeter um they did something from one chimney so that the smoke went up and stuff like this giving me this kind of signal before the father went to the hospital that was like two something two and a half months ago everything according to mk ultra bullshit everything according to mk ultra bullshit so uh just sick ill psychotic how the fuck you go and you tell somebody this kind of stuff you ruined already 50 years to me what else the fuck you want madness for 28 years you insisted from one day to another for me to do a suicide you teach me to jump from the roofs of miami from the bridges from this bridge here teach me to jump from this house up here teach me about how if i'm gonna jump from here that body is not gonna explode completely that's gonna be that there's still chance that i survive teach me from the blue lagoon here what it would be if i do a suicide where's the best place to take a suicide 20 fucking years of life you did this to me madness what the fuck is the madness to you what is madness to you i'm 50 years old and i should talk about the madness okay let me give you an audio recording and demonstrate you before i just do this about the audio recording itself it was recorded on july the 13th of 2022 and you can hear here you can hear me going Um, this was actually during my visit to father and so I used the car also on my way back and stopped at the stores to buy myself something some food something snack nothing unhealthy really something that I could have for myself including food uh, it all came together to 22 euros with all the reduced costs that you can get this is in the stores and then you're gonna hear me then you're gonna hear me talking with the mother i come home i couldn't wait to open these packages and start to eat myself it was so long ago when i had something that i wanted and so i started to eat uh and the mother comes and instead of hi how are you good day to you it's all about basically you eat like a shit you eat like what you have this all over the table that kind of stuff and eventually she had her stuff on the table uh, eventually the whole thing turned into a different kind of abuse that i have spoken about she reminded me that it's going to be a city that's going to repossess that's going to take um, 
house away and how how you're gonna pay for the taxes what you're gonna do and this and that uh, on the MK Ultra folks they insisted me believe it or not that was more than six how sick how I'm gonna actually how father is gonna die and I eventually will be selling his fishing rods to stay alive like I said the stuff I'm talking about this fishing rods and stuff like this I have talked about that stuff before father went in and even into hospital if the police wants to know about it no uh, I can transmit but nobody's gonna get a hold of my records any of that stuff uh, not like this it's a private property you don't have the right to access to without my permission but yes the day before the father was taken to the hospital I talked on Android about my being forced to sell the fishing rods uh, how I'm gonna be hungry and that it would be a father who would get a death certificate who would be getting his fishing rods back basically buying them back and then it was it was all kinds of stuff involved but this was like the scenario about it and that I would leave without a job searching for the job from day to day and they would fucking count the money like you know how much is inside you know to the last dime and really at age 50 look fuck I got 40 euros here still <laughs> this is not about the madness man I hope I fucking sentence you to death over there from London the York I hope they get you and I hope they sentence you to death I wish you a death sentence if you ask me you did not deserve to breathe oxygen because you're mentally ill you're mentally retarded and you have a criminal DNA foremost that prevents normal people from having lives you are killing you are murdering normal people due to your mental illness it's not a mental illness of just any kind prince william told me one time i asked him aren't you afraid you're going to be seen as a vladimir putin something like this because the way you the way you treat the way you view things because the stuff the way you talk the way it's it's to you like this to do stuff like this to people you're going to do stuff like this and he said oh, that's that's he talked about my kind of mental illness about what can be done with me he talked about psychiatric hospital what he can do with the psychiatric hospital against me and so I asked him what about you when you're talking about this he talked about genetic inherited mental illness and he wanted to know whether it is sociologically uh, or is it genetic uh, the predisposition what my opinion about mental illness is he started to argue on that issue and he wanted me per countries in development to see one as economic factor and well I figure out it's more genetic which is also economic and economic to him however when I ask him what about you if you do stuff like this uh, you don't feel that you're mentally ill when you do stuff like this to the people what is what is to you to do stuff like this to you and he said that's the kind of mental illness I don't worry about It's about the madness right about the madness it is okay I'm gonna give you audio recording here uh, I'm gonna play you this audio recording so you can hear in if you speak Slovenian if not sorry uh, I wouldn't take that much to to have this translated eventually all right maybe 
maybe a part of this I can translate, but not the whole thing. Maybe something interesting. I did nothing for my father in my entire for my mother in my entire life. Mm -hmm. This is just something I don't want to argue with her and I told her and for that matter I told her okay you did good to me that's all that is she continues I leave you 50 years 50 years I asked her are you proud about it she said no I'm not she said not even a little bit so that you don't even have to move that much you know that much and she's showing me with the finger uh, basically like in a psychotic way yeah it's this kind of stuff I don't want to see it I'm not I'm not into arguments I eat and she likes that when you eat when you have something or if you come back from swimming she'll get at you she gets at me because well uh, I have seen this on a, on a program from one of the physicians that uh, the most the, the worst thing for the cancer patients for for the cancer is there are two things the most the most the stuff that will swan your glands I don't know how it works but there are two things one is sugar and another one is stress so basically getting someone on the nerves now I did spoke about a lot of stuff but I never spoke about the stress whatever um, it's not a stress the worst thing is when you do it to yourself when you get angry and that's really counterproductive she says you don't even have to move a little bit not even a little bit not even that much and I said that really and why is that I asked her did you did you cut the lawn did you cut the grass and she said not everything I didn't even ask her about it she said everything everything uh, everything I did alone everything I did by myself come on man that's crazy she said only to me you do it it would have been done um, let me explain something this is a really not a big deal to me that's actually really nothing to me um, it's the issue I already have explained earlier. I do everything by myself, absolutely everything by myself. I said, what do you do everything by yourself? Tell me. Everything, everything in the house. Everything. You don't do anything but expenses. You don't do anything but expenses. How many bills did you go pay today? Uh, I am I am humorous and I just don't want to get into the arguments. I know what she wants and I and I demonstrated her the bills. You know, I told her as a matter of fact I paid this uh, 20, 20 euros for today I spend on this food and of course I'm not paying the bills no I'm not paying the bills but to tell you the truth I rather would have a job I would more enjoy myself if I had a job and buy myself a good car uh, rather than to waste my time shipping out resumes uh, and 
basically waste my time on a car search and stuff like this. Do you want to do this? I bet not. I don't want to do that kind of stuff either. It's better to go to the to the work and get your money, right? We don't do that kind of stuff for pleasure. You did it for yourself, not for me. I told her, come on, relax. <laughs> Milk and garlic like this. I buy. I tell her I bought everything like this. I Yes, don't forget to go. Da, we are going to do a little bit of 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 a she wants to know how much money I get paid for the stuff I do. Well, I do get paid money. I paid the money, I get paid, I get tremendously a lot of pay by having a YouTube, uh, Daily Motions, basically all the channels, uh, the views even blocked. Not only I'm blocked from the income, from online income or something like this, thanks to the Buckingham Palace, but it's so personal that they actually block to make me look as stupid as possible like mentally retarded i am also blocked with my video view counters no you just uh how can i say i think it's properly to to behave like like an animal like an idiot like mentally retarded because it's the company i I have it's it's the society you see I have fallen in I have somehow find myself in when I immigrated to United States of America the land of the brave and free in 1995 these are just the facts this is basically how it goes it used to be about the greater Russian human experiment but then the Romanos from London invented figure out they could be actually even worse than that too that maybe they could help with that kind of stuff too that they, they are actually they're so knowledgeable so resourceful that they can find many different ways this is about, this is just about the madness don't worry about it it's just madness <laughs> Mother just repeats how much money you make, how much money you make. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch bragged about the new size. It's gonna be it's gonna be on a, on a boards, commercial boards, and they run this. Get to know your new sizing. Get to know your new sizing. For that matter, the only thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna refer you to this video I have posted earlier today, and this is related to Mr. Prince Harry. And it explained all here about what they have done, what the principle of this post-Polish uh, situation here in Slovenia, how this is supposed to get me. Uh, that's all I'm doing. I'm referring you to learn all about this kind of stuff. The, the thing is that it was that day when I saw psychiatrist Peter Kapsch on a bicycle and just as I was told under MK Archer that sometimes he go with a bicycle, you will see him with a bicycle. And he did pass by 
you know, I was inside of the car and he looked at me and he gave me a signal. Well, that is so nice. Thank you so very much. But here in this excerpt, I am explaining mama about the new sizing, about the sizing, because mama is allergic to the way I look. She's disturbed that I don't look anymore like this. She's angry, she's not happy. Uh, and I tell her about psychiatrist Kopsch, about his new sizing, because I suppose that he didn't do it too damn well, because his ass is pretty big. It's like a whale on the bicycle it was. When I saw it, man, and that thing was pedaling, uh, I barely could still recognize it. Strange, because that's what's supposed to be, that's what I was supposed to be. That's what he promised me, that's what you're gonna be. That's what you're gonna be. And don't even think about saying something like this. My mama is not happy. Uh, my mama, however, fig figures out that I go uh, on the hill and that I elevate and that I, that I go down, that I do the stuff. Yes, I do. I do this kind of stuff um, sometimes even at 2, at 3, at 4 o'clock in the morning with people s sleep. And I say, why do you think I do this, mama? Why do you think I do this? Uh, she says, because so that you can look good, so that you can look good. Well, the thing is that it's not exactly so that I can look good. It's because I'm a fucking workaholic. You know, I used to work sometimes 24 hours straight. It's not exactly what my mama is saying. She talks about other guys. Other guys all fucking left home. And I did three shifts. I did one of mine, my own, and two, two shifts for two other guys at the same time. I just like to work. I always had the money, always. Uh, actually, I had a lot of fucking money with a really low pay because I just worked a lot whenever I had a chance. It's nothing what my mama is saying. It might look so easy, but really, this is not my life. I used to work at one point in my time on a celebrity cruise line, and that was a ship was a Meridian. In the Meridian ship, this is the ship where you guys, 95% would come and would stay maximum about two weeks, 95% of you. And then you would go bye-bye like this, if you had the job like this, because your body would not probably take 90% at least, 90% at least. And then the people still stayed month and two months and some people stay there for the entire contract and some people keep coming back but the shit they put me inside in that job i guarantee you out of 10 guys i don't know one two three yeah Four guys actually ended up, but my job, stuff that I was doing, uh, I paid extra for it. I used to walk in my own blood because 20 hours on leg in the shoes, uh, running back and forth in the ship, serving passengers, uh, bringing the food from the kitchen, preparing buffets, uh, midnight buffets around the clock bringing the food taking the food serving the people uh, other guys i don't know why but they got uh, easier way out but 60 percent of the people left the first week within the two weeks it was gone they couldn't take it they couldn't take it so I don't know anything about this kind of stuff that I would be uh, the one that would look for the shortcuts for easy ways. I think that I will not say anything past this stuff. There are some people that used to serve in a foreign legion. I'm going to tell you this. And they couldn't figure out how the fuck I did. 
on the ship because they loaded me with the extra stuff and they couldn't come, come to terms. It was French and German foreign legioners that worked and they couldn't come to terms how the fuck I did back and forth all the stuff meridian celebrity cruise lines there is people around still that used to work there including the metro D's and so on yeah they can tell about it i don't know anything about this kind of stuff i was 23 when i went to america with the stomach after the bread and i get uh, from the mother, the stuff like this. I'm gonna play to you this whole thing. But the day is I'm sorry, 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 i am with the calories that I go out there and burn maybe 100 times a month, probably more. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about the stuff she's talking about. But in the past, she was really, really successful with this kind of stuff to intimidate me. Uh, it's the stuff that she would give you in the evening. Then you would go inside all pissed off, angry. Uh, and that caused the frustration. And it will cause the frustration here and there. And you will resort yourself to food and it would destroy you she knows exactly what she's doing you know it's not she is she's sharp uh visit to my father uh, a long man you have identified person the main thing here really is the recording that, that she brings about uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mother keeps instigating about the money, about the car I have purchased myself, and it's parked inside of a car. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when she started doing that kind of stuff, I start talking to her about a bio cinema I have purchased for myself. And uh, yeah. okay. Ha ha ha! Yeah, this is the deal. No. 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 No
I'm going to end here. This is a recording where Mama talks about repossessing the house by a mayor, basically, not by a mayor, but a reminds of MK Ultra scenario about house repossession. I've come to term to have this uh, excerpt here translated to you. Yeah. It's also me. You manage to wish in uh I don't know what my mother is instigating about something. Uh, yeah. I am nothing, I'm shit, you lead me, and what can I tell you, my mother? My mother says nothing, what are you going to say? I tell her, thank you. Okay, hi. Hi, hi. What would you like me to say, because she's looking for disagreement with me? Nothing. What are you going to say? You have nothing to say. I say, thank you, I'm going to say, thank you. She's just picking up on anything, just looking for something. <laughs> Yes, you 
you're gonna see that this is a long 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 audio bullshit recording that my mother is instigating for about one hour already looking for a fight for verbal confrontation because I'm gonna put the whole thing underneath and um, I pretty much tell her when she's talking to me like this on how I'm nobody nothing that she lives me I tell her listen the truth is you shouldn't even be here anymore just like this I tell her and I did warn her about this stuff and she starts about how I'm gonna be homeless how nobody's gonna how I'm gonna have nobody's gonna feed me how I have no roof above my head and I tell her but mother you will have on the other hand she says mother says yes I will have yes I tell her yes you will Thanks God, she says. You will see what will happen. I tell her, you know, you're insulting yourself, you don't insult me. That's what we have. That's what we have. And others, they have much more. Much more than us. I tell her, listen, mom. She talks to me in a derogatory way comparing with the Roma people whom she is dressing as gypsies he is unhappy about me he is suggesting how the neighbors have children grandchildren who already help remodel uh, houses and stuff like this and we got nothing nothing absolutely nothing and all we have is this I wouldn't be so modest about this because it's a you know a lot of people that don't have anything like this when you come from nowhere like my mother did i think that she should be really pleased with what she has here this huge garden this huge house she lives here a life of a baroness basically with a grammar school that she completed and worked her life in a communist state known as yugoslavia as a worker as a regular laborer so that must not be so fucking bad it's a lot of people that would trade with her she's unhappy though she's miserable <laughs> and you will be sorry and you will be sorry that's what she says to me. very sorry very sorry <laughs> I told her, no, no, I'm not so sure about it. Uh, frankly, if you go to the prison facility, like Ik or Dot, uh, what she has now available to her becomes a miniature, just a memory, a painful memory on something. You find yourself within your prison environment in a completely new place, in a completely new world that for her when she is free like this she goes out she eats this fresh fruit, fresh vegetable, enjoys herself around I wish it would have been better, I wish that you know, I wish I would make her things easier if that's what she wants really she must exercise, exercise is a must and she knows it um, it could have been much worse she has a decent age 
in a very decent health uh, and things could have been worse far worse than this but she's really really not happy and in a way I don't blame her I really don't blame her just that I don't think I deserve exactly to be treated like this and I warned her about treating me like this talking to me like this before already uh, after all I didn't ask for any of this stuff I asked father and mother already in 2010 when I returned from Sweden I asked the two if we can talk about this MK Ultra we can discuss about these issues we can we can discuss about what went on and so on and so forth and it was not available ever since no nothing no nothing do nothing I have an envelope here I'm gonna fill it up the envelope yeah. under MK Ultra I was meeting father and uh, mother inside of the home for elderly people I, I would was taken by the Andre Ud, the neighbor here to visit father uh, and on a way in and out I would also meet mother that would participate on this uh, meetings in home for elderly and those are the meetings in home for elderly people uh, that people take and then finally make the decision whether they want to go inside or not that kind of stuff this is what was this is what went on during MK Ultra and this is what we have going on now that she's going to send an envelope and she's going to fill it up this and is going to file for the institutional protection uh, inside of the home for elderly people <laughs> I quite frankly like this <coughs> will not consider any kind of easing in circumstances for my mother for my father uh, if you're not able to talk to me like a human being if you want to see me down looking down on me like on a dog like on an animal or something like this um, there was other people that tried and I did not even understand under any kind of humor that kind of stuff uh, I must I did warn her I I will you know you're saying you have your retirement which you're absolutely entitled to absolutely you're entitled to absolutely everything however you must know that I have the right to the court just like you have the right to your retirement to your pension that means that when I say I have the right to the court I'm going to especially think about your retirement issues when I will consider the type of punishment required according to the law for you because this is the way it is you got your retirement and I got my court this is the way it is I got my court and you got your retirement and there is nothing between about mama papa and son here that's all there is you get your pension and I got my court that's all there is and it's fine with me I warned them about this about treating me in respect to this stuff already and somehow it doesn't come it's gonna be more about the madness and I'm telling you I got my court and we're gonna see each other through the court not through the pension it's wish you all the best inside of that institutional protection Whatever you will file, whatever you will go, this is your right. I promise. Prosa da stajem, ali prenestite v institucionalno. This is the application for the institutional protection, that's right. Or transfer. Ano varstvo, adio. And I say, okay, goodbye. That's all there is. She showed me that envelope, I don't want to know about it. Srečno. I tell you, good luck. That's all. Good luck. I'm not gonna stand in your way. This is your decision. You're right. Good luck.
Pa čim prej. And I also tell her, and please do this as fast as possible too. Uh, I tell her this because this kind of a threat, it was involved, it's an obese lady, obese social worker I have spoken about a month ago. And it's going to be a place where I'm going to stop and have a, ask for superior to discuss about this employee involved in this since 97. She caused a lot of problems, uh, a lot, a lot, nothing other than problems, and have brokered this ordeal, the torture, brokered this psychological abuse from the point of view of social services, also psychiatric hospital, and was creating all kinds of a clusterfuck on behalf of government. She swore in vendetta against me that it would destroy me and stuff like this. That's also one of the steps that I will not communicate with her because she also threatened me that if I'm not going to see the mother's way, the mother is going to remind me of this stuff. And if I would do something like this, like encourage her to do this as fast as possible because it would be that I should be afraid of this kind of stuff uh that she will definitely help mother through other services that she is connected to and this and that we're going to stop at the social services and we're going to ask for some supervisors and stuff like this and have a discussion about that stuff see if we can get somebody fired replaced and maybe some social assistance as it should be the case she trashed here in the novel mess of her already way too long I tell her also the same thing like I told father once you go there it's gonna be all your way basically once you go either to the hospital or once you go to the home for elderly you don't have to expect me anymore to visit you to see you it's like I stated you got your pension you got your rights and i got a court the only thing you can expect me with is with the police if we cannot talk to one another like a human beings i'm not even saying father or mother to son or son to father and mother if this is how you decided that's okay that's all right but just that you know how things are that's all there is it's indifferent from situation with the father and it's also police that insisted well uh, if you get the father first and then you get the mother first and we get you and stuff like this all kinds of stuff like this pressure down on me um, well you know I told her once you go to the home for elderly people you can 100% expect me with the police that 100% we're not going to see each other anymore like mother and son son mother we're just going to go through you know the official law protocol as is required <laughs> now she gets this she pisses me off and you can hear the satisfactory like sadistic laughing oh, look at look at just listen to this shit because this is what she wants. She wants response. Uh, basically, after the laugh, and she tells me, why the hell would I want somebody like you to visit me even? And I tell her, file that envelope, that request, that application for institutional protection as fast as you can and go. That's all I tell her. Just 
file the application and go. I do exactly what I was told not to do. And that's exactly what I do. I tell her, file that thing and go. And mother continues and tells me the house, it's going to belong to the city if you didn't know. Yeah, you can hear right here. Right. It's not going to be the house. It's not going to be from Boshtian, from me. That's my name. It's going to be from the city. And I continue to repeat her. File the application as fast as possible and go. Uh, Bustian will go with the luggage uh, a little earlier. I did not even translate. She talked about how I'm going to be homeless and stuff like this. You know, she talked about that kind of stuff. I did not translate the whole thing. She was really nasty. You're going to get to that. And I keep repeating her exactly the words the social worker told me during MKUltra not to repeat her. File the application as fast as possible, the envelope, and go. I will, Bustian will be homeless with the luggage and will go to the USA. That's exactly what was under MK Ultra. I, I, I asked her, can you please tell me who told you this? She says, I to you. I tell her, you know, you can tell the city that that's just not going to happen. And she starts, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what's up. The city demands tax taxes to be paid and you don't have the money. You have nothing, you can use the money to pay anything. That means the city must take it, the house. I don't want to get in arguments with her. I told her, you know, the stuff that you're talking about is so schizophrenic that I told her, listen, don't worry about it. Just file that application as fast as possible. Send one. That's all. Soon as possible. She tells me maybe you're gonna go before this to the USA. Okay, he said it was on this the third 
uh, I tell my mother, I'm going to keep you for your word, so I'm going to help you out that you file that application and you send one in and this and that. I don't want to argue with her anymore, but here is what it is. I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to play this entire audio recording here. So we're going to go from there. That's eventually going to be this one over here. This here, if you like. It's one hour long. It's in Slovenian language. Be my guest. Uh, however, I will not go and translate this. It's too damn long. It's just an excerpt of the whole file, which I demonstrated you when I was in the city. I demonstrated you bills and this and that. But yeah, my mother claims it's the city that's going to get this house because I will not have the money I will be capable to pay for uh, monthly maintenance fees, whatever you want, water, electricity, and stuff like this. Okay, so that's that. Uh, city house, okay, if nowhere else, the city house, like this, on my desktop, but there you have it, we're gonna do it like this, but it's an interesting audio, because it, it totally explained, you know, She is satisfied once she gets the attention with the anger, with humiliation, puts you down in shit. Uh, when you're worth nothing, then you can hear ha ha ha, you know, satisfaction to get this. And then basically it was all worth. I will also add to this video that it was my mother who claimed to psychiatrists from Ljubljana, to the nurse Andrea and to her accomplices on psychiatrists also Ljubljana, he I don't know what she said I'm doing at night right now it's three in the morning and in the daytime it's sleeping and when that kind of stuff is going to be, you're going back to psychiatric hospital Ljubljana and this and that. Well, father was very, very optimistic about all that kind of stuff. Uh, before he left to the hospital. Um, I don't want to sound pessimistic, but it looks to me that the two together, the two don't have much to be optimistic about anything. Um, in the eyes of the law, Prestopniki defines the people, offenders, people who do the stuff like this, don't have much to hope other than 10 life sentences in the jail and I am afraid I don't actually have other than court just as much as they have pensions doesn't look good from that point of view how the hell this looks for me when it comes to madness the madness I don't know I guess I am mad I am dealing with the authority for 28 years. Uh, that's basically since I went to United States of America. Uh, and I guess the madness just became part of me and I did not react on madness. Uh, in a manner that was expected of me. So, well let's say how this develops but if it was for me when it comes to london i would ask for these people a capital punishment this 
people are completely indifferent from a mafia somewhere in a Sicily. Mafia that gangsters that eventually crushed international laws, treaties, jeopardize European national securities of the sovereign nations insisting them uh, on how they have to see different things that should not even exist such as human trafficking, abductions, torture, physical, mental, abuse, uh, and have managed to even reprimand governments even ex by exampling them um, offenses of which some other countries were more likely to commit themselves to uh, to accommodate their needs uh, or other yeah I would say I would say uh, I would I would rather say that they exampled certain breaches of the law that certain countries in Europe were uh, opened to uh, so that they would put under the pressure in comparison what somebody else was flexible flexibility flexible about doing to accommodate them uh, to somebody else to another sovereign European nation and then using those as a reference again uh, to extort to blackmail another European e nation and so on one after another just getting by ripping national treaties United Nation code uh, security treaties of the sovereign nations and so on if you <laughs> you went over there to meet some mafia boss someplace in in a Colombia or Italy or whatever uh, you would get more integrity you would get more humane approach than I I don't think I can talk about anything humane when it comes to Buckingham Palace it's it was it was the money it was uh, geopolitical uh, views they had needs they had but uh, the more they got and i'm not going to say the more disrespectful the more their needs the crave for more abuse for more crime just became unstoppable somehow it's classic typical gambino mafia style gangster style family based in london united kingdom